Hello everyone, today is going to be my tutorial on Python if statements, but it's also going to be one of my last tutorials on Python for a little bit because I'm going to move on to other things like web development for others who want to learn that. But don't worry, I will still be making these tutorials and you will soon be able to make a very, very nice program with Python, which is why I'm teaching you if statements because that's what adds functionality to your program. So what we're going to do first is make a variable that's going to be equal to an integer uh, raw input from the user and we'll have that say enter your age here now we're going to be using an if statement and this is what adds functionality like I said but you also got to um, think of it kind of like English like okay if you're going to go to the store and there's five eggs buy one cart of five eggs something like that and that's how if statements work in programming so let's say if var is equal to and since it's going to be some sort of I mean, actually we're not going to use equal to this time so if var and then we'll say is less than 18 and then a colon enter and indent with one tab so it will say in uh, my bad if var is less than 18 colon enter then a uh, tab space with or four spaces with a space bar you're going to say print and then with the print we're going to say you are not 18 period oops period and now what's going to happen is they're going to enter in their age from this and it's going to be assigned to var and then the if statement is saying okay so if their age is less than 18 I want you to do this so kind of like if you go to the store and there are this many eggs then I want you to do this and that's how if statements will work you can also do elif which is else if so if the first one isn't true then you're going to do this so if var is greater than oops greater than 18 <coughs> excuse me then colon enter another tab or four spaces we're going to have it print uh, oops you are not 18 but you are older and then one last time we're going to make another one and that's going to be else and with that you don't have to make a requirement for it you just say else and then colon enter four spaces and then what you want to do we'll say print um, you are 18 and now if we save this we'll just put it to our oops we'll just put it as desktop and then test dot py make sure you save it with a py extension like this sorry I didn't realize that was off screen save that and then press F5 if you're an idle so that you can run it and now you should see this Oops. okay ah my bad you see this enter your age here so we'll do 10 and you get you are not 18 if we run it again and we do 20 we get you are not 18 but you are older if we run it um, again and this time we put 18 which is not lower or greater than 18 we will get you are 18 now there are also other types of comparison statements so basically you'll have it so that instead of like less than you could have it less than or equal to 18 so we save that run it again so if it's less than or equal to 18 put in 18 you get you are not 18 now this won't really that wouldn't be the best code to put for this kind of a uh, 
situation, but you see the point. You could also uh, do is equal, so two equal um, signs. And the reason you're going to use two and not one is because if you use one, it's going to assign it as a variable, which wouldn't work. You'd get an error. So you have to put two, which says is equal to, and then that. So it's the first one's is, and then the second one's equal. That's basically how it works. So press F5. So if it's equal to 18, you get you are not 18, which doesn't really make sense, but still. And unlike before when it was less than or equal to 18, if we do 3, it'll just say you are not 18 because of, wait, my bad. What did it just do? I think I just made an error. Oh, it says you are 18. My bad. Read that wrong. Anyways, so as you can see here, you can use pretty much all mathematical like comparison statements, greater than or less than. But you have to remember that it, it'll start with this being greater or less than. So if you want it to be less than, you have to have the point towards the bar and the opening towards the 18. And that's how if statements work. Um, if you guys have any questions, put those in the comments section below, and I'll be sure to answer those. You can also PM me. Uh, put any recommendations in the comments section below, or you can also PM me and put any comments you have about the video in the comments section. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe for future videos. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll be seeing you later.